The U.S. says its special forces will soon be on the ground in Iraq and Syria. The Pentagon chief said special forces will be deployed to put more pressure on the Islamic State. Take a listen. In full coordination with the government of Iraq, we're deploying a specialized expeditionary targeting force to assist Iraqi and Kurdish Peshmerga forces and put more, even more pressure on ISIL. These special operators will over time be able to conduct raids, free hostages, gather intelligence, and capture ISIL leaders. This force will also be in a position to conduct unilateral operations in Syria. RT's Gana Chichikan has more on this increase in force. Defense Secretary Ash Carter did not specify the number of troops the U.S. will be sending to Iraq to join the 3,500 U.S. troops who are already there. But he was straightforward about the fact that they are going to war. And when Mr. Carter said, we are at war, he was grilled over the administration's authority to declare war without congressional approval. Who declared that war? We view uh, the fight against ISIL as a threat to the United States, and we are mobilizing all of the military capabilities that are necessary. Who would have actually that made that declaration? Is that something you would make, the secretary would make? If it was a technical would... declaration of war, it would be the Congress. But has that declaration been made? No, it has not. No, I Please just want to be ahead. candid. I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not using this in some technical sense. But this is serious business. It feels like that to our people who are engaged in it, and it has that kind of gravity. So it's not a technical thing. It's a, it's a uh, descriptive. For a long time, the Obama administration has been criticized for refusing to acknowledge that U.S. troops are at war on the ground in Iraq again. Even after a U.S. soldier died in October during a hostage rescue operation, the Obama administration would still say U.S. troops were not engaged in combat. The U.S. Defense Secretary announced this deployment of additional troops on the same day as Germany approved a plan to send 1,200 soldiers to fight ISIL. So the Obama administration may be feeling more confident from a political standpoint to announce such a decision. But are Americans confident about this? According to a Gallup poll from November, 53 percent of Americans opposed sending ground troops to Iraq and Syria to fight ISIL. Another 43 percent were in favor. Many Americans are wary because they remember how the last war in Iraq went. As President Obama himself uh, said, ISIL is a consequence of the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003. At this Tuesday's hearing in Congress, Ash Carter said, as a recent Iraq war vet, I'm concerned that we're already going back. I'd like to get it right this time, end of quote. Well, as more U.S. troops are heading to Iraq and to Syria, too, we're yet to see signs of Washington getting it right this time.